Hi. Hi. Thank you for, for uh, being on today. Um, let's get right into this. Um, tell me about who you are, what you do, and, and the kind of coaching you do and the people that you work with. So my name is Ellie Badget. Ellie is short for Elizabeth. Uh, that's the French way to, to shorten it. You can hear that in my accent. Uh, I'm a self-confidence coach. So I work with uh, people that have big dreams and big goals and they want big things, but they are not getting them because of their lack of self-confidence. So for me, self-confidence is really the belief that you have in yourself and your ability to believe that you can do things that you've never done before. So everything new that you want to do in your life, any new change or any new goal or anything that you want to do, uh, if you don't have, if you've never done it before, then you're really going to have to need a little bit of, of mm -hmm. that step. That's really what keeps you moving from one step to another. It's not, uh, it's what keeps you in, into action mm -hmm. and gets you from one, one step to, to the next until you reach your, your happy ending uh, at the end. And what do you think it is that prevents self-confidence? Like how do people get tripped up over that? So what, um, it's, it's coming from your, your personality. So I, I work a lot with, a lot with the Enneagram type. Uh, so Enneagram is a way to, to type uh, different personalities. So there's nine personalities and it shows the people their different uh, pattern, how they are motivated. Was that, sorry, was that um, Enneagram? Enneagram, yeah, yeah. yes. And uh, so you, uh, so basically uh, we have, like, there's this nine types of personality and all of them are motivated by different things and they have different fear. They react to the world in a different way. So somebody that is a high achiever is going to be petrified by the idea of failing in public, for example. So if you have a personality type that is on the high achiever uh, or the performer type, uh, your worth fear would be to to fail in public or to not be seen as an expert, for example. Uh, if you are on the, the, the personality type that wants to be the number one, that wants to do everything perfectly, then uh, you're not going to be able to launch something or to start a business or to do the steps because you want everything to be perfect. So you're going to go into, I need to learn more, I need to do all the steps, I need to do this and this. So all the different personality are, are working in a different way. And, and that's that what can motivate really your, your, your action and your resistance and your fear. So do you find that each of these nine different personality types, they come to achieve or grow their self-confidence each in a different way? Yes, uh, each in a different way because they are facing. Uh, so I don't believe in overall, okay, let's get you a, a super self-confidence mindset, for example. I don't believe in, in all that. I believe in really uh, looking at the goals that you have, um, putting some steps, uh, really identify what are going to be all the small steps. So it's like to give you an image is like to have a zip line. You can build a zip line and this is where you are. And the, the end of the zip line is your, your happy ending. It's your goal. It's your dream. It's where you want to go. And you can build this zip line with a very low incline and all those uh, metal posts are going to be the obstacles and the steps that you're going to have to do. If you, if you don't have the self-confidence, your zip line is going to be pretty much flat and we have a low incline, you're going to have to push through all the mm. single obstacle, one after the other. You're going to have to use your body weight. You really have to get moving. You have to force yourself. Once you have the self-confidence, you're looking at those steps and we're basically inclining the zip line. So it becomes like, you just go from yes. one to another. You don't spend time thinking, should I use my arm? Should I use my, my, mm. um, my legs? You don't start to spend time overthinking everything because your body is already like, yeah, it's, in motion. It's, this yeah. step I can do is in motion. So it was really bring the motion instead of, so you know how it, that it works when you take action without uh, procrastinating yes. or overthinking every little step that you have to do. Because when you want to reach a big goal, self-confidence is not about taking big, bold moves and big steps and jumping out of the cliff. It's not that. It's really, that, that's the image that people have. Like, oh, if you're self-confident, you're going to do big things. No. Building your self-confidence is really doing one step after uh -huh. another one and keep Every moving day. and keep moving. It's all about the small step. And at some point, if you're lacking the self-confidence, you can start those small steps. So you can say, yeah, I can do that. But then you're going to like struggle and use so much energy to go from another step to another step. And it's really what's going to just like um, either stop you because you're going to overthink everything and, and you cannot force yourself to do all those thousand little steps if you're not in a state that is really 
Like your mind is clear and it's just so obvious and it's so light that you can go from one step to another. And the more mm -hmm. steps you do, the more confident you are that you can yes. reach this goal. That's also like, like a snowball. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And how did you get into this kind of work? So, um, well, the self-confidence came to me actually because... Uh, and how did it come I, to you? Uh, <laughs> like, were you struggling with it at one point? Uh, no, I've, I've always been like really uh, like good at it. But um, when I started coaching, I realized that everything, like all the clients were coming to me for, for different kinds of topics, could be from weight loss to changing career to all like happiness, like finding your purpose, all kinds of things. But each time they had to do a change, like the common point that was always coming and the things that I was always like going with them is uh, talking with them and coaching them is the self-confidence. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you move and how do you get to the next step? How do you believe that you can go to the goal? Right? Yes. If, if you want to change career, if you want to become a singer, if you want to do something completely, like I moved, for example, when I decided to move from France to Canada, at the beginning, I thought, this is not possible. I'm too mm. old. I can't do that. This is, I already have a career in France. Like, what if it doesn't work? So I, I it almost felt like, it's impossible. It's never going to yeah. happen. Like this is too big. Like all the dreams that we have, this seems at some point impossible. And then you need to build like the self-confidence that first of all, you can do that. Like, yeah, I will figure it out. There will be yes. a thousand steps. I can. So you build all those small steps one after the other. And, and at some point I realized like, yeah, actually, if I look at all the steps, I can do that. It's, it's mm. all about really uh, breaking them down mm. and just keep moving. Like what is stopping yes. you? What is the, yes. the, the thought like? And depending on your personality type, these thoughts can be, those thoughts are gonna be different. What's gonna happen in your mind, the fear that you're gonna experience with the world, like everything that we're gonna do that is new, that we've never done before, you're gonna experience some discomfort. Right. But you can see it in a different way. Like it's completely normal to experience the discomfort if you're gonna, do something that you've never done before, right? right. Like going the to the gym and, and building a muscle. It, it's like, yeah, yeah. It's like doing, I want to do a thousand push up. Yeah. Okay. But well, the first one or two, it's going to be difficult, right? Yeah. But it's like, okay, can I believe that I can do two? Can I believe that I can do yes. three? Uh, and it's all about like the belief because otherwise it can be sitting on the couch thinking like, yeah, I could do some push up. And, and yeah. you can just like, <laughs> if you don't believe that you can do it, you know, you don't, you don't even stop. You don't try. So a lot of dreams, yeah, a lot of dreamers really keep their dream, mm -hmm. like they procrastinate the dream mm -hmm. because they don't have the belief that it's, that it's like, achievable, it's possible for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, for anyone watching, uh, what would you say are maybe a couple things that they could do to impact their, their self-confidence right away? I would ask, um, I would ask them to say, okay, um, when you think about your goal on the scale of one to 10, do you believe that it's possible? Mm -hmm. Right. Do you believe like no matter how the how part, like how is this, how am I going to do what are going to be the steps? Do you believe it's possible? If you can skip, if you can rank it on the eight to 10, I think you can already like see that, mm -hmm. that, that's, this is not what's going to stop you. If you're on the lower number and ask yourself, okay, what am I afraid of? What is, what is possibly coming to my mind that is stopping me from believing that I can do that? Yes, of course, mm -hmm. I've never done it before. And there's a lot of people that do everyday things that they've, they've never done it before. Can I believe in myself enough to, to know that I can do a little step and a little step? And, and the second advice I would say is like, just break it down to small, 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 mm -hmm. small, small. Tiny bites. Steps. And just, just keep walking. Just, just yes. do a little step. Don't stay in your head, just do a little step mm -hmm. at a time. I love that. And uh, before we wrap up today, what, what, are, what is the thing that you most need help with right now? I need to spread the word that self-confidence is something that you can grow. It's not something that you have or you don't have. And it's really the belief that you have in yourself. Um, and it's just, um, it's just completely normal. Uh, a lot of people think like, oh, uh, this is never going to happen to me. I cannot do that. I'm not that kind of person. No, uh, there's, there's really, uh, there's really two, like the difference between confidence and self-confidence. I think it's also the message that I want to carry to people. Confidence comes from your past. So it's the things that you've done before and you've done them enough that you know you're confident to do that. I can ride a bike because I've done that many times, a thousand times, and I know I can, I can do that. Right. So, you see some people working around you and you look at them and say, oh, he's confident on an interview. She's confident in an interview or he's confident singing on, on the stage, but they've done it many, many times. So it's, it's coming from their past and now they're confident to do that. 
The self-confidence is looking at your future, thinking, I've never done that before, but I believe I can do it. So it's your belief that you can do something in the future that you've never done it, that you've never done before. Uh -huh. So it's like, it's not you have it or you don't have it. Once you're going to do that enough time in the future, then you've got to be super confident that you can do it, right? So you have to start at some point. So it's not um, something like, I don't have self-confidence. I'm never going to have it. I, I'm not this kind of person. I'm too scared or I'm too weak. No. It's not that you're confident in some parts of your life. You don't even realize it because uh -huh. it becomes natural because uh -huh. of repetition, because of all the steps. Uh -huh. You just become confident in some part of life. And the new one, we just have to work at it just a little bit, just a little bit uh -huh. to, to, to convert them into the zone of confidence. Yes. Thank you. And um, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add before we wrap up? No, thank okay. you for, thank for the interview. That was thank fun. Thank you. Thank you. This is very fun. Uh, so where can people find you online and how can they get in touch? Uh, so everything is under elibadget.com. Uh, so Eli, uh, yes. for the, the spelling, E-L-I-B-A-T-A-T-A-T.com, uh, like Facebook, like Perfect. everywhere. Okay. Thank you, Ali. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. Take care.